few years ago, I read a book by Trila Tharp. Of all things, she is one of the greatest ballet directors in the history of the world, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not really big into ballet, but she is. And she wrote about creativity. And I can't think of anything more creative than the whole world of dance as you go out there. And, and so she talked about the aspect of capturing ideas and writing them down. Typically, I don't know about you, every once in a while I get a brilliant idea in a dream. So two o'clock in the morning, I get up and I stagger out of bed and I scribble the concept down on a piece of paper next to the bed, all because Twyla Thar recommended it. And in the morning I sit down there and I wake up, I have no idea what I was thinking about and look on a sheet of paper. And if I could read the scroll, I have a brilliant idea written down. I take those ideas and I sit down and, and I put them on something called the opportunity canvas. This one document is brilliant. You sit down there instead of writing a 14 to 55 page business plan, you can sit down and take a business and start going through it, boom, 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 in eight easy steps and, and really map out your idea. And it takes me about 25 minutes. I have three businesses already outlined over there. I've already launched one of them in the process and I have three or four that actually aren't gonna work. And I know they're not gonna work because once they sat down there and used this tool, I sat down and found that's not, a, that's, the, the market simply isn't there to go through. It's a rough sheet where you map out a concept and you create a mini business plan as you go through. There's really eight components to it. First of all, the problem. What is the problem? And then what is your solution to that problem? How are people currently solving the problem? What competing solutions do you have? And then what's unique about your solution as you go through? You start mapping all these out as you go through. And then you describe the customers you're going to have. Will, why will they buy your product? And how will they buy it? And, and how do we test the assumption? Here this is, you're going to see this in, in your Canvas model as you go through. The first little box is the problem. Say what your problem really is. Second one is your solution as you go through. The third one is your the, the competing solutions that are already out there. The fourth one is the unique value of your solution as you go through. Once you start doing all this, it forces you to sit down there and number one, right? It gets it out of your head on the paper as you go through. And sometimes you realize, gee, this is a pretty dumb idea. It's not gonna work after all, but let me finish this out. And then you're going to find description of potential customers. Oh, that's a good idea. Why will they buy and how will they buy it? And how am I going to test this as you go through? I'm telling you, the Opportunity Canvas is a brilliant, easy template for you to have. I recommend not only that you sit down there and have a copy of this handy as you go through, stick it on your computer. Even after this class, this class is not about academic rigor, not about getting a great degree or whatever. This class is about giving you knowledge and information that's practical that you can use to develop your business ideas, develop your business into something being very successful. This is a hands-on class. This is a hands-on tool called the Opportunity Canvas. Make it, we're going to do a couple examples later on on the Opportunity Canvas. Later on this week, we'll talk about the Business Canvas, which is similar but not exactly the same. It's more for an established business. This is for a detailed aspect of actually mapping out a potential business as you go through. And you're going to find once you sit down there and get an idea in your head, and you map on an idea, this tool is phenomenal. It's located often on the Small Business Administration website. It is that good. It really is the foundation of your textbook as well as you go through. So read the text. It's deceivingly simplistic, but they say the best path to profundity is the vehicle of simplicity, which is exactly what this book is about. Complete the assignments, make certain that you fulfill the discussion boards, respond to at least two of the things, and they want to sit down and make certain that we're working together as a community, even though we're not talking to each other directly, we'll be talking to each other online as we go through. Take care.